uh, welcome back to Shay's Tarot. So, we are diving more into numerology, and you know I love me some numerology, and I want to help put everybody on, okay? Your soul number. So, of course, if you haven't watched my last numerology videos, especially about your destiny number, the destiny number video is going to lead up to your soul number video, because it kind of goes in order. Well, it does go in order. Let's get started. So, when it comes to your soul number, what is your soul number? So your soul number is pretty simple. It's your soul. It's what your heart's true meaning really is and what it really feels. Now you have your life path number, your birthday number, your, you know, all these other numbers that we're going to go through eventually and stuff like that. But um, we are up to the point where the last one was destiny numbers. It's just like, it just all matches up your life purpose, your soul purpose, your destiny. It's like different ways, but the same thing to all incorporate and help within your journey. So how you get your soul number, right? Your soul number is the sum of all the uh, vowels in your name. So, of course, what my name is Ariana. So, of course, yeah, I did my full name, but for Ariana, of course, the only vowels I have in my name is the A and E. So, uh, yeah, so whatever, so you just write your full name. I do my first, I do my full first, middle, and last name for everything. I just love my name. So, write your full name. Only bring down the vowels in your name, and let's not forget what the vowels are. A E I O U, okay? No wise. <laughs> but, so, bring down all the vowels in your name. Now, there is a chart to tell you um, what number goes to each vowel. So, how we found that as well. Now, if you remember from my last video, and I will see if I can put this up here again. But, you're going to write down. So, after you bring down all the vowels in your name, you're going to write the numbers up under them. The numbers come from the chart that we use for your destiny number, your life path number. You know, all it really comes from the same chart. And I'm gonna put this up here again. My vowels bring down for well, my first name for A and E, which is I one. I said I one and five. So you know, you bring that all down. So like, okay, you, we'll use the example like I got in my book. So we're gonna go with Elvis Presley spilling his. So Elvis, he has two vowels in his first name. Uh, which is the E and the I. The E is number five. I is nine. You just add those two together. He gets 14. Break it down again in numerology. You know, numerology is all about reducing and factoring all the way. So for that first name, we're going to reduce and factor all the way down. So five plus nine for his vowels is 14. Break it down again. One plus four is five. So he has five or 14 slash five for this, uh, for his first name. So, you know, his middle name is Aaron. So that is three vowels he has in his name uh so the two a's are both one and one zero is six i mean one zero. The, one, the letter o is six one plus one plus six which gives you eight you don't have nothing more to do with that and then we move on to last name do the same thing with his last name or with your last name last name presley he has two vowels vowels in the, his last name so five plus five is ten one plus zero is one so now we're all down to a single digit after that each sum of that number, of the number of each part of your name that you have got, add that all together and reduce it all down. For him, so his number, so he has 5 plus 8 plus 1 equals 14 slash 5. And the reason we do 14 slash 5 because it's due to, like, the karmic numbers and stuff like that. Uh, like, people have 13 over 4, if I'm not mistaken. So, or 13 over 6. It's just written as a fraction. But, yes. And you don't even have to put the fraction on time. I feel like it can, it can throw you off, so you don't even have to do that. So, of course, when we do the fraction, though, since it is 14 over 5, uh, we break his down to 1 plus 4 is 5, you know, and then it's 5. But his is 14 over 5, period. You, like, you can't break that down even more. Like, so, um, that's just his. 14 over 5 is his, like, you know, soul number, even though it's weird. So, whatever number, single number you get down to that for your soul number, that is your soul number. Now, of course, do not reduce. If you have 11, 22, and 33, you never factor down master numbers in numerology those are the three master numbers you do not double down on guys that is how you get your soul number so uh, i hope you guys love this i'm gonna bring you more numerology content because i don't want to overflow with too much tarot you know i love tarot so yeah like comment subscribe comment anything any questions or anything and you know i'm here to help so i'll see you guys later peace